and the prison escapee accused of murdering a couple in New Mexico goes on trial. Good afternoon. Federal prosecutors have already started calling witnesses in the federal murder trial of John McCluskey. He is the last remaining defendant to face trial in the deaths of Gary and Linda Haas, an Oklahoma couple murdered while traveling through New Mexico three years ago. Prosecutors are trying hard to paint him as the mastermind. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is just back from federal court. Kim, the day began with opening statements. Prosecutors painted the murders as part of a crime spree that began with McCluskey's escape from prison. John McCluskey is the last of three defendants to be tried in the case. He faces the death penalty for several charges in the murders of Gary and Linda Haas, who were married more than 40 years when they were carjacked and killed while traveling through New Mexico in 2010. At the time of the murders, McCluskey was on the run after escaping from an Arizona prison, along with fellow inmate Tracy Province and escape accomplice Castlin Welch. Province and Welch have each taken plea deals to avoid the death penalty in the case. The first witness called to the stand today was a friend of the victims. He says he was waiting for the Hosses to meet up with him for a camping trip in Colorado. But the couple never made it. Investigators say the Hosses were hijacked at gunpoint at an I-40 rest stop by McCluskey, Welch and Province. Today, in opening statements, a federal prosecutor detailed a scene where McCluskey was the one who pulled the trigger, killing the Hosses, and then burned their trailer with the bodies inside. A photo of the Hosses next to their 28-foot trailer was shown to jurors. This is what it looked like when a rancher found that same trailer near Santa Rosa. Federal prosecutors say the couple's truck was later found miles away in Albuquerque. The defense said this morning the evidence will not prove McCluskey killed the couple and indicated future testimony from his accomplices will not be credible. The trial is expected to last a long time. The guilt or innocent phase, followed by a penalty phase if there's a conviction, could last three months. It took three weeks to pick a jury. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, prosecutors alone are expected to call about 50 witnesses and present hundreds of exhibits. Province and Welch are expected to testify in the case, too. Both are already facing life sentences.